Seven North Carolina teens have spent their summer biking across the U.S. to raise awareness of teen cancer. For the past two months, these teens have been biking nonstop, but on Wednesday, their trip comes to a close as they cruise into Wrightsville Beach. Carolina in the morning, Stacey Pinino joining us live to talk about the boys' trip. Stacey, what's the motivation behind this, what is it, a nearly 4,000-mile journey for them? Good morning, guys. Well, this is all kind of stems from one of their uh, fellow classmates. Her name was Sophie Steiner, and she was actually diagnosed with cancer and passed away at only the age of 15. So what these seven North Carolina boys want to do is raise awareness as they are biking across the U.S., not only for her, her foundation, that Be Loud, but as well as any kid who was diagnosed with cancer as only a young teenager. We can uh, go ahead and show you a little bit of video of their trip so far. You got some GoPro video there that you're uh, looking at. You can see them just kind of cruising through the U.S. there. There's also going to be some pictures of them camping out just in their tents. Uh, they've been gone for the past two months, but I've, uh, I've been in contact with one of the boys' uh, parents, uh, Ted Richardson. He said that his son and the other bikers are hoping that this trip will raise enough money through this uh, Be Loud Foundation to hire a staff member at the UNC Chapel Hill Hospital who can cater to the needs of teens with cancer. And they said that's something that Sophie was really passionate about before she passed away. So these young teens started their journey on June 15th with the goal of biking nearly 4,000 miles. They started in Florence, Oregon, and like Kim said, tomorrow they are going to end up in Wrightsville Beach. Uh, Ted Richardson said he was nervous about letting his 15-year-old son embark on this two month journey, but he says they had months of training and they also had several uh, parents along on the trip to kind of help guide them through. So he said having those two factors, he definitely set his son off with some confidence. Um, and he says, you know, they try to talk every day, maybe not on the phone, but he said through text messages, text messages. One of the most impressive things that him and his son have seen is the generosity as they travel city to city. One thing I know they've been impressed with and I've been impressed with is just how kind people are. They're just nice people all along the route that have taken them in, offered them a free meal, offered them a roof over their head, and a place to sleep. And uh, that's that's been heartwarming. So their trip will come to a close after nearly months on the road. They're going to cruise into Riceville Beach around 11 a.m. and they're set to meet at the blockade runner. And they said sort of a ceremonial type deal that they're planning is uh, as soon as they start their trip, they dip their back tires in the Pacific. And then tomorrow that's going to come to a close as they dip their front tires in the Atlantic. Guys, back to you.